Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next uh, 10 to 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 1st of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extension of FS and ECM Ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at uh, the CFSB2 for April itself at the end of the video. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just save that first video in sex. I'll sit to the UK weather forecast. I've also released Jeremy Fred as well. So please check out today's two vids. If if you like to do that, like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. <coughs> no, sorry, everybody. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, okay, Fluffy Merch has been released. Here we go. Uh, so, yes, we've got mugs, we've got coasters, we've got pins, and if that wasn't enough, we've got uh, chocolates inside the mugs as well. As this needs to tie in, tie in. So, uh, we've got Maltesers, we've got Cadbury's Cream Eggs, Cadbury's Mini Eggs as well. Um, and I am struggling not to, <laughs> not to nibble, nibble my way through those. But, um, yeah, so Fluffy Merch has been released. If you would like uh, to get yourself a little bit of Fluffy Merch, all you need to do is send £15 to the Gals Brothers PayPal account and uh, let us know that it, that it is for Fluffy Merch. And uh, we shall get those out for you. You've got until the end of March to order your fluffy merch. So you've got a little while to be able to uh, do that. But thank you so much, everybody, for getting involved and uh, and for buying a little bit of fluffy merch. It's another revenue stream for the uh, channel to help me to be able to sit here and do this for all of you. So thank you so much to everybody for buying their uh, fluffy merch. It's been a fantastic response so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And enjoy your fluffy merch, those that have uh, brought it. Again, the link to the Gazwell's PayPal account is in the description with this video, by the way. Right, let's start off with centering temperature. The CT is uh, currently sitting at 8.2, about 2.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average at provisional to yesterday to the uh, 21st of March. So, a very mild, uh, uh, very mild March, even. Though we had quite a cold start to the month, but it has turned into uh, a very mild March indeed. However, it's turned colder now. These with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. We're at Bradford today. Red line is the third year upper air temperature average for Bradford, starting off below average at the moment. We'll be staying below average for the uh, next week as well. Possibly seeing signs that things get a little bit milder as we push on through the first week of April. That is a long way off. Generally, it looks uh, it looks uh, either average or a little bit on the cooler than average side, I think, for the next uh, week to 10 days. But again, as I explained yesterday, more so than temperature, I think the real story uh, next week could well be precipitation. So down here, we've got a little bit of precipitation to, to come through this weekend. But it's really next week that things are looking very unsettled through that final week of March. Big precipitation spikes. Quite a lot of rain on the way. And these wet conditions could well last into the first week of April uh, as well. So uh, an unsettled week to come there, I think. Temperature anomalies from the 22nd of March to the 30th. Coming out average or a little bit below average. Quite a coolish sort of week to come. And precipitation anomalies from the 22nd of March to the 30th. Coming out average or west average in the north and west. But a little bit drier than average over in the east. So a lot of variation there. But I think I'm not sure about that driving average anomaly there <laughs> across these regions. I think it will be uh, rather more unsettled potentially than that is showing next week. Latest win from that from EarthNoSchool.net showed that uh, we're drawing in wind from uh, the northwest today. So we've got deep low pressure course to the north of Scotland. And uh, we're bringing those northwesterly winds in from off the Atlantic. So looking unsettled um, and uh, a little bit Atlantic driven. But the air is coming from the North Atlantic today. So we have changed the air mass a little bit. So we've, we've lost, for the time being anyway, we've lost those very mild southwesterlies with the air rejecting down around the Azores and whatnot and Canary Islands. And we've replaced them with uh, rather cooler sort of polar maritime um, air masses. 
Right, let's start going through the chart data then. We've got uh, the UK Met Europe run here to start us off. This is for Big Dye on Monday. Low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. That would bring unsettled weather in with it. And through next week, low pressure deep on the Atlantic. We talked about this in yesterday's video. It does look as though we're going to be in for a very unsettled spell through next week with deep low pressure in the Atlantic. Going down to about 970, 960 millibars potentially and throwing up lots of rain bands into Western Europe as far as we get to with the UK there. Icon again has this uh, trough of low coming in from the Atlantic on Monday, and then through next week just turns increasingly unsettled with this deep low out of the Atlantic, bringing lots of wet and uh, windy weather in with it, all the way up to the end of next week, low pressure anchored and rooted just to west of Ireland, throwing up rain bands, so thoroughly unsettled <laughs> right way to Easter with the Icon model. Uh, this is how the KMA is looking, and gets all much of a muchness, for the end of, um, or for the beginning of next week, I should say. A um, little bit more of an easy flow uh, with the KMA. That's something that's been showing for a while. So this low, a little bit further southwards, means we have more of an easterly flow. And that could turn a precipitation to snow, maybe, across the northern half of the country around the middle of next week. However, the, the main thing with that is that it's just very unsettled again. Similar to all the other model output into Easter, uh, very unsettled with low pressure in control. But after Easter, getting into early April, then we see a change to higher pressure out to our west and northwest. And that begins to pull the wind around to more of an easterly or a northeasterly direction. And uh, so that can start to drag some cooler air in from the uh, east there as well, by the way. So overall looking drier, but also rather chilly, I think, as we go into early April with the KMA with that easterly flow. Let's have a GFS midnight running stocking. Again, low pressures heading in from the Atlantic through the early part of next week. Deepens in the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. Becomes actually very unsettled. Uh, and this low throws up rain bands into uh, the UK and Ireland right way through to the Easter period. Um, no real changes. We just keep that low pressure all the way up to day 10 to our south and southwest. But again, we do see a little bit of a change here into the extended range. Just beyond day 10, higher pressure starts reaching in from the Atlantic. That will begin to settle things down, turn things a little bit drier. But it would be chilly under that area of high pressure as well. And there we go, right way through to the end of the GFS midnight run with high pressure centred over the top of the country, mostly dry, but could be rather on the chilly side, especially at night with some uh, ground frost, maybe even a little bit of air frost likely. I suppose by day it wouldn't be too bad, given the strength of the April sunshine. So by day, it would probably feel relatively mild. But that is a cool ridge. The origins of the ridge is from a cool direction. Although it, it's from the Azores, because we have um, cool air established before it ridges in, if you see what I mean, um, then that makes it a cool sort of uh, a cool sort of ridge. At least initially, if it starts drifting over to the east, plus it will put up a southerly flow, and that be a lot warmer, of course. Uh, right, okay, GFS six Z again showing low pressure dominating the weather on Monday into the beginning of next week. This low deepens to our southwest, throws up lots of heavy rain into western parts of Europe as well. So some very wet conditions through the second half of next week with that area of low moving up towards day 10 high pressure starts to build out to the northwest and uh, we keep it cool therefore winds in from an east or northeast direction um but with low pressure down to the south again the wettest weather will be across southern more southern parts of the country with this and although high pressure starts building in after day 10 again that is a cool ridge it's out to our west cool air is already established before it builds in so uh, around that high pressure you know, we're bringing in the wind from the northwest, so uh, rather cool but dry through the first week of April. We might be seeing signs of a change here, both some something significantly drier through the first week of April. That's two GFS runs that's going in that direction, as well as the KMA 
as well. So there could be a little bit of a pattern change in the works here for early April to something more anti-cyclonic, drier, but as I say, a little bit on the cool side. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. And show you everyone for Jim Matt. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos content. And don't forget to share friends about guys, whether it's we thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that. We need to put on around 45 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be amazing and incredible. And we thank you so much for doing that. Okay, GM, again, about low pressure coming in from the Atlantic on Monday. And then through to the middle of next week, deep low pressure out to the west. So very wet with that uh, low centred over top of the country. And the low carries on uh, sitting to our west and southwest. Right way up to day 10. But by day 10, higher pressure is building up across Scandinavia and starting to bring the wind around to more of an east direction. So it's starting to pull in some slightly cooler or colder air from the uh, east bear with below pressure out to uh, the west. Um, though also the GM is turning drier by around day 9, 10 as well. Trending towards higher pressure a bit. Again, it is quite a cool ridge that's building there. And then the ECM also showing low pressure out to our west on Monday. And then through next week, looking very unsettled with that low just to the west of the country, throwing up rain bands across the country. Some really wet weather to come. Heading up towards day 10, the ECM actually keeps that low pressure centred just to our southwest. So not much sign of higher pressure building in there for day 10 or beyond it. You just keep the low pressure out to the west of the country with further rain bands being pushed northwards and eastwards. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from TibetJo.com. Winter showers in the north and west through um, tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, and then wet weather coming out of the Atlantic through the weekend. And then into next week, of course, turning increasingly unsettled. With rain and a little bit of snow coming in as well. It is quite a cool air mass that we have next week. So not only rain, wintry potential at times. For example, there's a little bit of snow there through the Midlands. That's the 30th of March. So that's Easter Saturday. What about too much? But again, just a suggestion that this is a cold air mass that we have. Albeit it is, it is a fundamentally unsettled pattern. And up to day 10, we just keep it unsettled with further rain bands pushing northwards and eastwards across the country. Bear in mind, though, some models are built, particularly with GFS operations, are building up some higher pressure around day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble Day 4, day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 1st of April. 40 members of the ECM Ensemble, lots of them, with low pressure just to our west at day 10. So looking uh, very unsettled there on the first day of April with those 14. And then we've got 11 with low pressure again to the south and higher pressure is to the north. And again, we will be bringing some very unsettled weather in from um, the Atlantic there. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 6th of April, 17 members of the ECM ensembles again. Low pressure dominating from off the Atlantic 16 with low pressure just to our southwest. That's looking very unsettled as well. 10 with higher pressure reaching from the south away to the north and the west, and then eight with high pressure centered just to the west northwest of the country. Oh, uh, that would be mostly dry as well. So, again, there might be a change here in the work to some higher pressure through the first week of April, but it is a bit of a 50 50 split. We've got 17 there, and we've got 16 there, look quite unsettled, and then 10 and 8, so 18 that are more towards higher pressure. So, quite a bit of, quite a bit of uncertainty when we get to two weeks out. CFSB2 finally, be, uh, be this is the 700 mm bar height anomaly for April. Today, showing higher pressure to the north, low pressure to the south. That will bring the wind in from an easterly direction. Could be a drier month, but might be a little bit on the chilly side with that high pressure weight to the north. The temperature anomaly is about average, maybe slightly above. And the precipitation anomaly shows no particular signal. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to share friends about gas weather. And um, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Uh, right, I'll just tell us how to have a channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We're going to have the EC42 day uh, weekend forecast and 10 to 14 day as well. It's going to be a busy day on the channel tomorrow. On Sunday, 6 m UK weather forecast. We'll have the uh, next summer update 
and we'll be live at 6 p.m. No live tonight, of course, but we will be live at 6 p.m. on Sunday with the 10 to 14 there. And as it's a Sunday live stream, we will undoubtedly have some long range with that as well. You enjoy the rest of your Friday, and for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.